In 2017, we launched Smart Reply. Short responses you could select with just one click. Next came Smart Compose, which offered writing suggestions as you type. Smart Compose led to more advanced writing features powered by AI. They've been used in workspace over 180 billion times in the past year alone. Since the early days of Street View, AI has stitched together billions of panoramic images so people can explore the world from their device. At last year's I.O., we introduced Immersive View, which uses AI to create a high-fidelity representation of a place so you can experience it before you visit. Now we are expanding that same technology to do what Maps does best, help you get where you want to go. Google Maps provides 20 billion kilometers of directions every day. That's a lot of trips. Imagine if you could see your whole trip in advance. With immersive view for routes, now you can, whether you're walking, cycling, or driving. Let me show you what I mean. Say I'm in New York City, and I want to go on a bike ride. Maps has given me a couple of options close to where I am. I like the one on the waterfront, so let's go with that. Looks scenic. And I want to get a feel for it first. Click on Immersive View for Routes, and it's an entirely new way to look at my journey. I can zoom in to get an incredible bird's eye view of the ride. And, and as we turn, we get onto a great bike path. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful ride. You can also check today's air quality. Looks like AQI is 43, pretty good. And if I want to check traffic and weather and see how they might change over the next few hours, I can do that. Looks like it's going to pour later, so maybe I want to get going now. Immersive view for routes will begin to roll out over the summer and launch in 15 cities by the end of the year including London, New York, Tokyo, and San Francisco. As you may have heard, AI is having a very busy year. So we've got lots to talk about. Let's get started. We've been applying AI to make our products radically more helpful for a while. With generative AI, we are taking the next step. Using a combination of semantic understanding and generative AI, you can do much more with a new experience called Magic Editor. Let's have a look. And it looks like the balloons got cut off in this one. So you can go ahead and reposition the birthday boy. Magic Editor <laughs> automatically recreates parts of the bench and balloons that were not captured in the original shot. As a finishing touch, you can punch up the sky it changes the lighting in the rest of the photo so the edit feels consistent. It's truly magical. BARD has already learned more than 20 programming languages, including C++, Go, JavaScript, Python, Kotlin, and even Google Sheets functions. OK, here BARD created a script to recreate this chess move in Python. And notice how it also formatted the code nicely, making it easy to read. And starting next week, you'll notice something right here. We're making code citations even more precise. If Bard brings in a block of code, just click this annotation, and Bard will underline the block and link to the source. With Adobe Firefly, you'll be able to generate completely new images from your imagination right in Bard. Make an image of a unicorn and a cake at a kid's party. OK, now Bard is working with Firefly to bring what I imagined to life. One of our most popular use cases is the trusty job description. To get started, you enter just a few words as a prompt. Senior level job description for textile designer. Docs will take that prompt, send it to our Palm 2 based model, and let's see what I got back. Not bad. With just seven words, the model came back with a good starting point written out really nicely for me. Imagine you run a dog walking business and need to keep track of things like your clients, logistics about the dogs, like what time they need to be walked, for how long, etc. 
Sheets can help you get organized. In a new sheet, simply type something like client and pet roster for a dog walking business with rates and hit create. Sheet sends this input to a fine-tuned model that we've been training with all sorts of sheet-specific use cases. The model figured out what you might need. The generated table has things like the dog's name, client info, notes, etc. And so with the new cinematic wallpaper feature, you can create a stunning 3D image from any regular photo and then use it as your wallpaper. So let's take a look. Okay. Now, under the hood, we're using an on-device convolutional neural network to estimate depth and then a generative adversarial network for in-painting as the background moves. The result is a beautiful cinematic 3D photo. So let's start with a search for what's better for a family with kids under three and a dog, Bryce Canyon or Arches? Now, although this is the question that you have, you probably wouldn't ask it in this way today. You'd break it down into smaller ones, sift through the information, and then piece things together yourself. Now, search does the heavy lifting for you. What you see here looks pretty different, so let me first give you a quick tour. You'll notice a new integrated search results page, so you can get even more out of a single search. There's an AI-powered snapshot that quickly gives you the lay of the land on a topic. And so here you can see that while both parks are kid-friendly, only Bryce Canyon has more options for your furry friend. Then if you want to dig deeper, there are links included in the snapshot. You can also click to expand your view, and you'll see how the information is corroborated. So you can check out more details and really explore the richness of the topic. This new experience builds on Google's ranking and safety systems that we've been fine-tuning for decades. These new generative AI capabilities will make search smarter and searching simpler. And as you've seen, this is really especially helpful when you need to make sense of something complex with multiple angles to explore. You know, those times when even your question has questions. So, for example, let's say you're searching for a good bike for a five-mile commute with hills. This can be a big purchase, so you want to do your research. In the AI-powered snapshot, you'll see important considerations like motor and battery for taking on those hills and suspension for a comfortable ride. Right below that, you'll see products that fit the bill, each with images, reviews, helpful descriptions, and current pricing. This is built on Google's Shopping Graph, the world's most comprehensive data set of constantly changing products, sellers, brands, reviews, and inventory out there with over 35 billion listings. In fact, there are 1.8 billion live updates to our shopping graph every hour. So you can shop with confidence in this new experience, knowing that you'll get fresh, relevant results. And for commercial queries like this, we also know that ads can be especially helpful to connect people with useful information and help businesses get discovered online. They're here, clearly labeled, and we're exploring different ways to integrate them as we roll out new experiences in search. And now that you've done some research, you might want to explore more. So right under the snapshot, you'll see the option to ask a follow-up question or select a suggested next step. Tapping any of these options will bring you into our brand new conversational mode. In this case, maybe you want to ask a follow-up about e-bikes. So you look for one in your favorite color, red. And without having to go back to square one, Google Search understands your full intent and in that you're looking specifically for e-bikes in red that would be good for a five-mile commute with hills. And even when you're in this conversational mode, it's an integrated experience 
So you can simply scroll to see other search results. Now, maybe this e-bike seems to be a good fit for your commute. With just a click, you're able to see a variety of retailers that have it in stock, and some that offer free delivery or returns. You'll also see current prices, including deals, and can seamlessly go to a merchant site, check out, and turn your attention to what really matters, getting ready to ride. Generative AI makes it easier than ever to create new content, but it also raises additional questions about its trustworthiness. That's why we're developing and providing people with tools to evaluate online information. For example, have you come across a photo on a website or one shared by a friend with very little context, like this one at the moon landing, and found yourself wondering, is this reliable? I have, and I'm sure many of you have as well. In the coming months, we're adding two new ways for people to evaluate images. First, with our About This Image tool in Google Search, you will be able to see important information such as when and where similar images may have first appeared, where else the image has been seen online, including news, fact-checking, and social sites, all this providing you with helpful context to determine if it's reliable. Later this year, you'll also be able to use it if you search for an image or screenshot using Google Lens or when you're on websites in Chrome. As we begin to roll out the generative image capabilities, like Sundar mentioned, we will ensure that every one of our AI-generated images has metadata, a markup in the original file to give you context if you come across it outside of our platforms. Not only that, creators and publishers will be able to add similar metadata so you'll be able to see a label in images in Google Search marking them as AI-generated. As we wrap up, I've been reflecting on the big technology shifts that we've all been a part of. The shift with AI is as big as they come, and that's why it's so important that we make AI helpful for everyone. We are approaching it boldly with a sense of excitement, because as we look ahead, Google's deep understanding of information combined with the capabilities of generative AI can transform search and all of our products yet again. And we are doing this responsibly in a way that underscores the deep commitment we feel to get it right. No one company can do this alone. Our developer community will be key to unlocking the enormous opportunities ahead. We look forward to working together and building together. So on behalf of all of us at Google, thank you and enjoy the rest of I.O.